Okay, now we've got some better lighting. Take a look at the uh, interior of this old girl. Pretty clean, looks like it's got the PDK. Nice dash, you know, lighting there. There we go. Ooh. Oh, that's the... That's that sexy Porsche bang, man. I'd love to hear that noise banging at me to put my seatbelt on or whatever it's there for. Anyways, yeah, kind of roomy. Seats aren't like the crazy race kind, so looks like it'll be good. Yeah. Pedal box looks pretty open there. Mm -hmm. Back seats, yeah. See what I'm saying? I did not, I mean, John Ryder ain't even gonna fit back there. Sounds pretty good. I'm with it, I'm with it. All right, we're in the C4S now. Uh, it's freezing, but the top's down. So let's put this sucker up. Okay, so there's a ton of room in here. I'm gonna take a second to get adjusted. I can't be all the way back. Gotta move the steering wheel a little bit. Be right back. This is a cool little thing. You got a rear window too. That's random, isn't it? That's random. You gotta like switch them to get between them too. See that? something that people never talk about on a Porsche. <laughs> Good story, man. All right, first impressions. This car is quick. It's probably the most composed car I've ever been in under full acceleration. Because the engine's in the back and it's got all-wheel drive, this thing just feels so good under acceleration. It's so good. It is awkward how good it feels. I've spent a lot of time definitely Bo Biddle making all that racket. Uh, I spent plenty of time in that thing. That thing has a little bit more power than this. I think it's probably a little heavier. but And that thing feels amazing. And, and he's got it lowered and got some good tires on it. So under acceleration, that car really does feel good. This thing, however, man, what a feeling. It just, when you're in the gas, and you're kind of got that I'm stuck in the seat feeling it continues to give you the sensation through your feet through your hands to your butt that what you are doing is what you're supposed to be doing every once in a while when you're in that thing you don't have that feeling you feel like you're some kind of outlaw um, maybe it's because it's so loud I'm not really sure but this car is feels so much better than that car and I tell you I can only say that because I just got out of that car and went straight into this thing. Uh, I think this thing's price right now is 70 something, 69,000, something like that. Uh, the only drawback that this car has is it's before they switched steering stuff. If you see right there, it says plus and minus. What it doesn't really tell you is that this side is always minus. This side is always plus. So it feels, it doesn't feel right when you're driving, honestly, because I'm so used to any paddle shift, this side back here is up, the up shifter. If you hit that, you're going down. You're going down. So, and this side too, just keeps going down back sides. You have to press this to go up. It just doesn't feel natural. Uh, and I've honestly only been driving in this car for like six minutes and I've, missed the shifting a couple times where I'm trying to go up and it goes back down. Uh, luckily I wasn't under some big acceleration moment so it didn't cause any havoc but anyways this is a pretty amazing car. If you can afford one of these I would jump into it. The convertible part makes it gotta have a little bit more wind noise in here. I'm sure you can hear the road a bit. Uh, 
but you know that top coming off really just makes it so you can hear the exhaust so much better uh, and the sound deadening that we are missing currently in the vehicle makes it so it does sound good under under load because it, you can hear it more that's that's you want to be able to hear that noise you want to be able to hear that noise wow okay check back all right i've had a few minutes in the car now everything's been great the uh let's give it our little launch here see what she's got put to the floor my foot to the floor this thing will go and I don't again I'm not sure if I'm in any kind of special sport mode or anything here but uh, everything about this car is nice the ride very compliant I'm sure you see me bumping around a little bit here but for what it is this thing's super comfortable just sat in a bunch of traffic trying to get here so anyways See if I can get another pull one. All right, we've got a little bit of a straightaway here. Let's see what she does. Foot to the floor. Oh, and the brakes work really good. Wow. Okay, that was amazing. All right, well, so this car is amazing. And uh, yeah, I, I think I want one of these now. It's pretty amazing. There's your price, 2012. Uh, you can see the little stats if you can read that. If you don't want to read it, that's cool. And uh, so yeah, first uh, third or fourth Porsche I've driven. Definitely the first C4S I've ever driven. Uh, pretty amazing feeling. You saw the acceleration braking. I think it only gets better the faster you go. I think the best part about this is that it just feels good driving without any of the sport modes and all that stuff. It just feels comfortable, ready to cruise. I can see why so many random women drive this thing because you can just poke around and stay out of the throttle and you can't even tell what kind of power it has. It is amazing. Anyways, let's do one more little walk around. Turn the key off here, left side. Like a, get a little mail here and you know pretty easy to get out of too again with the i'm a big dude so yeah oh wing is up just leave it up that's what you're supposed to leave it up that's i think it's a rule so, hey yeah oh yeah driveway look at the driveway porn we got here it's pretty amazing yeah all right well we got a bunch more stuff coming up today guys uh you'll see it Great.